is good, Jamie. Welcome back to another video. Today is going to be a different type of video. Um, now, I don't... It's, this video is going to be a little bit more serious than my mo most of my other content is. Because most of my other content, as you know, it's really fun, laughable. Uh, it, it's supposed to be upbeat and you know energetic but this video it's it, like i said it's, it's gonna be a different type of video because in this in this video i'm going to be talking about uh if you guys don't know who they are the creature hub uh and the creature hub if you don't know uh are were, were a group of friends that got together played a bunch of video games over skype and they grew into this whole thing, this just massive thing, and it, it, the decisions they made along the way, it helped their, they grew, they grew into this massive, I guess, empire, I guess you could say, being, like, technically being the third channel in the Let's Play family, uh, to hit one million subscribers, and, so, but they made some decisions across the way that, well, along the way, that basically forced them to shut down the channel. And by shut down, I mean they are no longer making content for the channel. They are, all the creatures have gone on their own paths, and they, they're doing their own thing. But the, ch the Creature Hub channel itself is going to be an archive they said in their latest video the video that said that the creature hub was ending that they're just going to turn the channel into an archive of older videos so that way creature fans can stay they can still watch creature hub videos and so what i'm going to be talking about in this video is kind of what the creature who the creatures were to me uh and kind of where they went wrong along the way and I know there's a few videos out there about this already, uh, and most of them, well, they have different types. That most of them come from their opinion, and I'm gonna. This is gonna be from my opinion as well, because it. The only way you can get, like, oh, completely the facts of it, is if, uh, who, the owners of the Creature Hub, who were, who was, of course, you got Kutra, Dan's News, all of them, if they come out and say how the creature hub what ended the creature hub and everything and they kind of covered it a little bit in their video announcing the creature hub is coming to an end uh but they didn't go through the whole story just because a lot of it is kind of personal but basically i'm gonna start from where the creatures began to where they ended so basically the creatures they started off as a group of friends and originally it was four people you had kutra gassy mexican chilled chaos and junkyard and they got together they didn't form the creature hub group yet they they were just a group of friends who got together started playing with each other and they ended up become they they had great friend they made great became great friends and this had and one and this uh was the build-up to bringing uber hexion over or james in to the group, which helps the co the comedic fa the comedic fact of the comedic fact of the group, um, and through this group, they brought it. They brought in Dan's news, and that's what kind of sparked this whole little creature hub. They they created the creature hub, and then they came out with this show called the Cre called Creature Talk, and. What it was, was basically, it was a podcast, video type series. That, well, it, it didn't become a video type series until like 2014, I think. But it was a podcast. And what they would do on this podcast is talk about topics that's going on in the video game world and all that. And through this podcast, they had Shaman's Dress So HPKC on it. And he got migrated into the creatures through that. Well, later on, they started playing the game they they all started playing games and throughout that time chilled chaos and junkyard left 
and most people believe that it was uh, chilled left due to personal problems with uh, James, and then the uh, junkyard was asked to leave. Suit was where it wasn't. He was asked to leave. Um, not too long after that, they uh, it was uh, from the reasons that John Carroll left. I don't know. Um, I don't think. I mean, I, he's th there's there's probably some actual facts about it, but I don't know them. Anyways, so they left just leaving the four, the group of four. Dan's News, Uber X, Genova, SSOH, PKC, and Kutra. And that group worked out really well. And, and so they continued to play games with each other. Uh, it was through Skype because they didn't live in the Creature House just yet. Oh, yeah, I guess Max was still in there too, so five. So they, they were still friends playing games over Skype and all of that good stuff. And so what had happened was they moved it after this thing grew immense it started they it kept growing and growing and through creature talk they had sly fox town as a get on as a guest and you guys if you go through my earlier videos you probably see me talk about sly fox town a lot um and so sly fox hound through creature talk joined ended up joining the creatures and they proceed and during this whole thing they moved into the creature house which well, which we'll get to was one of the reasons Gassy Mexican left the creatures, um, or well, left got kicked out of uh, shy details, but he everyone believes he got kicked out. But they moved into the creature house. Everyone except for Sly and Kutra moved into the creature house, and Gassy Mexican soon moved out of the creature house and into his own apartment with his girlfriend. Because, as he states it, it was like living in a house with an, and with people who have never had a roommate before. They had no, and he also says that they had no respect or uh, privacy for. They had no respect for. He claims they had no respect for privacy for their other roommates, and so this was one of the main things that stemmed from him getting kicked out of the creatures, pretty much. Because Jordan and Dan, I guess, didn't like the fact. Everyone believes that he didn't. Li they didn't like the fact that he wouldn't stay in the creature house, and it made it hard for him to be put into uh, creature hub into the creature hub videos. So that led to the releasing of Cassie Mexican, who went on to help. F who went on to form this group? With Chilled Chaos and Junkyard, I I can't remember their their name right now, um. But they formed their little Splinter Cell group from the creatures, and after Gassy Mexican left, Sly Foxhound came in. He visited the creature house, but he never actually moved in. Uh, but he was with the creatures up until 2014 when they moved from the house to the office, and during that move, no, I think maybe like a month or two into that move. Sly Foxhound announced that he was leaving the creatures due to family and uh, personal reasons. He was moving back down to Florida to be with it. He was moving back down to Florida to be with his family, pretty much. And so, after Sly left, that's when um, Golden Blackhawk, aka Kevin, was introduced along with Immortal. Immortal, Immortal was introduced before Sly Fox was before Sly Foxhound left, and after he was introduced. Uh, Sly left, and then once Sly left, Golden Blackhawk was introduced, and he, after being in the creatures for no longer than, like, three months, he left because he wanted to focus on his own personal channel, and he believed that being part of the office, the creature office, and part of the creatures were not allowing him to focus on his own channel and live streaming of the sort. So, after he left, Dex came in, and... Dex was in the creature. Dex was in, joined the creatures during RTX 2015 or 16, one or the other. 2016, I'm pretty, pretty sure it was. And he was in the creatures for no longer than like three or four months, uh, probably mu pretty much the same length as Gold as Kevin. And he left because he didn't like the creatures' management. Um. In his video, he says that it was he. It was because. Uh, 
Kutra and Dan were trying to censor him and not – if you guys looked at their videos while he was in there, he was in very – he wasn't in too many of the videos because – uh, what most people believe was Kuch because Kutra and Dan didn't like his style of uh, his style of entertainment, um, and we all know that his style of entertainment is pretty much what Cow Chop is now, and we will get to Cow Chop very soon. But he basically left the creatures because he didn't like the management and the way that they were supposedly trying to turn him into a more PG into a more PG entertainer for the channel because of their audience. So he left because of that, and he also said that it was, it was, it was basically like he thought it was going to be a fun experience, you know, hanging out with, pretty much doing, B, BSing with their friends and whatnot, and just having an off good time. But instead, he said it was like working, literally working in an office, but he had to report to four bosses, which he claimed were Kutra, Dan, James, and uh, Immortal. So he left the creatures for those reasons. And then you've got uh, all these interns coming in. You first had Spencer get introduced around the time that uh, Dex showed up. And then after Dex you had after Dex left, you had in, you had inter, you had intern Joe come in and then Artist Joe came in and then Aaron came in, then Artist Joe, then Stephanie came in, which who many believe was a huge part of the creatures uh, falling apart. Um, along, they also didn't like, nobody, a lot of people didn't like Spencer. They wanted to see a lot less of him because it kind of felt, to me, it kind of felt like, felt like they were forcing him on us mainly because they knew that people were leaving the creatures and they couldn't, they didn't, they needed more people to be out there in the creatures for people to get used to and know. So that way when the, when creature, the other main content creators started leaving, they would have these other people in there that either were or weren't uh content creators in there so that way like i said if these when when they if when and if these the actual big content creators of the group leave aka at the time immortal nova dan kutra uh sheamus as well when they started leaving it would be like oh yeah that sucks and whatnot but at least we have, you know, Spencer and Aaron and these all these interns there to keep us entertained. Well, it didn't really work out that way. Uh, people, in my eyes, people felt they were cramming Spencer down our throats. And they were just trying, like I said, they were just trying to put him out there to try and make him a main part of the channel. So that way there would be more focus on the fact that he's there and still being funny and whatnot. And doing all these crazy things as opposed to, oh, this person left the creatures. This sucks. And the creatures basically, like in my eyes as well, ignored the fans when they were saying to put take Spencer out of so many videos. I mean, I, I wouldn't have had a problem if he appeared like once in a video like one or two times a week. But because a lot of their content after they switch from gaming to like live action type of stuff it's kind of like if he appeared in the background do like editing or and whatnot as like a background as a background thing then it'd be fine like it's cool to see that type of stuff and so but with spencer they just kind of threw him into the fray and tried to make it and they in a lot of people's eyes they made him a bigger creature they made him a bigger part of the creatures than the content creators so all these interns coming in eventually led to uh SSHPKC or Seamus leaving and in Seamus's words he didn't he didn't like working in the office uh not specifically because of the interns but he didn't he wasn't comfortable with working in an office space cuz Seamus in one of in his video set in a few of his videos said he only goes to the office to edit or do and very it was either to edit or do some other stuff. There were it was editing or thumbnail creation or just other overall things that you would normally do as YouTube uh, as a YouTube creator as a YouTube content creator. 
and he said he's claimed that he does very little recording in the office mainly because he wasn't comfortable with it and he didn't like that there were so many people in the office that he couldn't he, he couldn't record without being interrupted well I, he didn't necessarily say that but it's what i it's what me and uh, it's what i and a lot of other people believe that he didn't like he wasn't comfortable recording he said that he wasn't comfortable recording in the uh working in the office but so he recorded a lot of his things at home and then i believe he, and not that i believe he said he stated that he edits and stuff in the um in the office just because he doesn't like recording in the office so he eventually left to after this after he got sick He's he claimed in his comeback video uh, after being gone for almost a year that he got really sick and once he started feeling better he got a kidney stone and that lasted a long ass time and whoops I hit the mic and yeah that lasted a long ass time then he got sick again and when he finally was able to come back he decided okay I have to rebuild my that he had to rebuild his channel to uh, he just basically had to rebuild his channel from the year-long hiatus he was on so he ended up leaving and this basically left four main content creators in the creatures because i mean spencer had his own channel has his own channel but it wasn't nearly as popular as the rest of the creatures so you had four main you had four main content creators you had kutra dan's news uber action nova and immortal hd and Immortal and Nova, and um, when they brought in Stephanie, Stephanie originally signed a contract saying that she wouldn't date any of the creatures. And that ended, and that was something that ended between her and James, uh, because I, I believe they dated at some point. Um, and then him and then Stephanie ended up dating Kutra after that, after the, yeah, Stephanie ended up dating Kutra, which was it. It from what people think, it put beef between Kutra and Nova because no, they had Stephanie sign this deal where they could that she couldn't date any of the creatures for two years um, because she, like I said, I think she was in a relationship with James, and that deal ended their relationship, and then she started going out with Kutra after the deal was over so that kind of put some beef between him and between kutra and james and a lot all of this led this and a bunch of other things led to the creation of couch Op. now couch Op, as both nova and immortal have stated that couch Op was a thing in the works for like three or four months before actually launching the channel and they originally have had recorded videos for cow shop in the creature office i think they used james's old office after because after the office extent after the the creatures cut out dan and um they cut out dan's and kutra's offices and merged them into one giant office just so that way they could have this whole thing called the bullpen and the creature's office was also extended before that so once they created the, once they were extended they had like three or four more offices and then after that they made the bullpen and so this all the pre everybody moved their computers and offices the, all the stuff that was in there all like the computers and whatnot that they edited on and all that from their offices into the bullpen and that's where i believe they james put the couch up set up originally in his office his old office so they were recording things in the creature office before they left the creatures but then they did a live stream where they officially announced that for two months before that live stream they were no longer part of the creatures which informed led to them creating couch up like i said and then they moved into the couch shop house which became the couch shop bar which became the couch shop warehouse and it was it's a long string of events but once couch shop left once nova and immortal made this couch shop channel everyone was like 
oh man, they left. This sucks. And I think the creatures at the time, like Kucher and Dan, were like, don't worry, we've got people like Spencer and Joel and all them, and it'll be it'll be great. It, obviously, the creatures won't be what they were, but things have to expand and whatnot. And that was wrong. Uh, they were really wrong, actually, because they had not only Nova and Immortal leave, their two biggest channels, mind you, Immortal with 1.2 million subscribers and uh, Nova with, um, at that time, approaching 3 million. So you had these two, they're your two biggest YouTube channels leave, and then they took Aaron and intern Joe with them, with, with them to Couchop. And now Couchop's this massive and successful thing, but after Nova and Immortal left, that's when the, you could see a, a massive dip in the creature's views and whatnot. Because the cre all their fans were saying, no more Spencer. Let Immortal and Nova do some more things like they used do things like they used to. We want more things that involve it, it was complicated and basically after Nova Immortal left and created Cow Chop, that's when a lot of the creature fans, die hard and casual creature fans, moved over to Cow Chop because that's the the Cow Chop was doing what everybody wanted the creatures to do and go back to was friends doing stupid stuff but and having fun with it. And the creatures yeah, they did stupid stuff and had fun with it. But it wasn't the type of content that it wasn't the type of content that they wanted to see. To where Cow Chop, when they went over, they started doing gameplay videos with two, three people at a time. They did a bunch of live action stuff that uh, was extremely hilarious. Um, then they have this wrong side of YouTube search uh, show that they have. Then they've got the Amazon Primetime show where they buy stuff off of Amazon and they uh, tell they gift them to each other, and it's hilarious. And not only that, they brought when they brought in people to help them work. You know, they brought in Trevor. They obviously had Aaron and Joe, and then they brought in like two or three new interns. They brought them in, and it was hilarious because these people they didn't cram them down our throats um most of the time there were just people behind like trevor he everyone everyone was comfortable comfortable with joe and aaron um everyone knew who they were and they were all they were they're both hilarious but when they brought in trevor there was this new person that nobody knew who he was and so and he was 19 i think yeah, he was 19. And so they brought him in, and they didn't cram him down our throats. He, they started him as a uh, background f background performer, you know, like he did some filming. He, he did a lot of the filming uh, when Joe wasn't doing it, and then when they – then they had him do some editing, and it they, gradu they started it off with him being just in the background of – videos with them messing around to get let to let people get used to him being there and then they started doing these funny skits where they had uh trevor in them and they eventually started bringing him into some more of their mainstream content like their uh youtube search shows their youtube search show and uh then they brought him in with some gameplay videos and whatnot and they they didn't just shove him right into the fold they pr they let him get used to the whole filming all the time thing and then they uh started integrating him slowly into more of the content and now now trevor's one of the trevor's one of the most loved groups of the creatures he's the creatures of cow chop and that's because they pushed him properly to where the creatures when they brought in spencer and all these other interns they just threw him right into the fold and that was the biggest, probably one if not the biggest reason that the creatures ended. And once they saw the dip in their views, 
the YouTube adpocalypse happened, which, as everybody knows, if you don't know, uh, you live under a rock. But also, if you don't know, the YouTube adpocalypse is basically YouTube changing their algorithms because a while back some people were involved in hate speech and it pissed YouTube sponsors off and YouTube lost a lot of sponsors, a lot of sponsors from it. And so YouTube had to change their ad, their ad algorithms to where things that they believed involved hate speech wouldn't get advertised. And like things that involved hate speech or were generally not ad friendly content would get demonetized and no one, they wouldn't have, they, it basically means they wouldn't have ads on them. And a lot of the creatures content, actually most of the creatures content, if not all of it, were claimed to be deemed to be not advertiser friendly, which in result, which along with the dip, their massive dip in views, uh, lost them a lot of money, which in turn didn't allow them to pay their interns and whatnot. And so eventually, the some of the interns start. Uh, artist joe he left the creatures and all of that and then some other inter i think like one or two other interns that were behind the scenes uh left the creatures so it's at at one point it was pretty much just down to kutra dan and spencer so this all led to their video called the end with a very distraught and, and upset Dan to a next to a very kind of not disappoint not to, let's just say it as it is he was not he did not look or sound upset at all that the creatures were gone um and he basically he kind of started it felt like he was bragging and throwing in everybody's faces that he already had another job lined up for the fall of the creatures. And in Dan's video stating, talking about the ending of the creatures and went into some detail, not a lot of detail, but some detail on why the creatures ended. Um, which basically means he just kind of reiterated what they said in the Creature Hub video and some other stuff. Um... He vis he visibly was crying because Dan was some would call one of the founders of the group. Uh, he was there from the beginning, pretty much, and all the way to the end. And he literally was visibly crying because he he didn't want to see the thing that he him and numerous other people worked so hard to create uh, go away. So. I don't know if Kutcher's made a video on it yet or not, um, but Dan has stated that he will still be creating videos for his channel, and Kutcher has stated that with his job, he will make as many videos as he can, uh, working through his schedule and whatnot, but other than that, he uh, a lot of people blame Kutra for the downfall of the creatures. I personally don't blame only Kutra. I believe, I mean, I do believe a lot of it was his fault in making the decisions that he did for the group and what, because a lot of people, Kutra founded the group pretty much, uh, and he made a lot of decisions for the group that ended in the downfall of it, like throwing Spencer into the mix immediately and so on and so forth. So, it... But I don't believe it was just his fault. I believe that it's partially on the fans' fault. Because, and I'm not saying their fans are terrible or anything. I'm, I'm a Creature Hub fan. I have been and always will be a Creature Hub fan, no matter what. But a lot of, it, it, once the Creature, once Immort, once all these, once all the content creators started leaving, the channel, a lot of the Creature Hub subscribers went with them. Like when Cow when when Cowchop left, a lot of the Cowchop, a lot of the Creature Hub subscribers moved over to Cowchop because they that's what they were doing things that they wanted to see, and 
th- they were doing things that they wanted the creatures to see. They wanted to see from the creatures, and that's that. That's when the creature hub started going. To, that's ma- that's one of the big f- bumps in the road that the creature hub made the creature hub. Made, it pretty much it made the creature hub's wheels start going flat. Eventually, to the point where they were just gone altogether. So. Even it, whether you're a hardcore fan or a casual fan, if you moved over to Cow Chop, you were a you were part of the reason why why they uh, died out because you weren't. I'm not gonna say loyal because I'm pretty sure I'm I'm sure a lot of people that were subscribed to the Creature Hub and went over to Cow Chop stayed with the Creature Hub, but they didn't necessarily watch the Creature Hub, I guess. Um, but I do believe most of it had to do with. Uh, whoever it was ignoring the fans and stating that and, and doing things that the fans didn't want and the cre- all these subscribers leaving all these followers and subscribers of the Creature Hub leaving um, the Creature Hub to for Cow Chop or for whatever the Gassy Mexican uh, Chilled Chaos and Junk Men's uh, Splinter Cell group is um they went and they it was a, it was a message directly to the creature hub saying if you don't if you won't give us what we want we'll go to somewhere we'll go somewhere else that does give us the content that we want and we'll go to we'll go to a place that we'll go to another channel that d- listens to us does what we want um and i'm i understand that a lot of youtube channels if they're big enough they can't listen they can't listen and do a lot of the things that the fans want but if a lot of them are also are still doing some of the things the fan wants the fans want just to keep their fans happy and if you are noticeably ignoring the fans and doing stuff that they have clearly stated they don't want then that's just going to be a massive problem for you. So, um, my take on the Creature Hub disbanding, it's it's sad, really. I, I've been watching them since 2012, which was a year after they were created. Uh, back then, when, back then it was literally just Dan, Seamus, Nova and Gassy Mexican, um, and Kutra, and then they prog- I was I loved watching them progress up into the sky. And at one point, they were massive talks of YouTube. They had all these sponsors, um, and the creature creature talk. They had a fi- they had a camera for their creature talk table where they would talk on live stream on Twitch. And I mean, hell, at one point they had a Smite Pro team, uh, consistent of Sly, Nova, Kutra, and I think at the time I think it was either Seamus or Dan, it was one or the other. But they had a Smite Pro team. Uh, they that lasted for like a year or so, but they played on MLG. They like played uh, actual league Smite matches on MLG. For MLG, and it was, they were, they they had sponsorships by the company that makes Smite. I don't know. I don't, I don't play Smite, um, but they they had these big sponsors coming in, and their creature talk episodes were sponsored by by people, and it was, it was great. They they had something big with this channel, but at the end of the day, poor management decisions. Matt, uh, content creators leaving the group and basically going br- taking the creature hub from a group of friends that went on got on Skype together played a bunch of games and eventually got together in one place and just played a bunch of games there grew and transferred over to business and at, like I said at the end like I was saying at the end of the day business got in the way of friendship and basically the comedy factor. So, like I said, it's really sad to see the creatures going, but 
after seeing their dip in uh, views and whatnot, it's it wasn't a surprise that they were ending when I saw them ending. Uh, I will stay. Sub I am subscribed to the creatures still. I will stay subscribed to the creatures for as long as I can, and I will enjoy going back on looking and looking at some of their greatest videos. Uh, so, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is, as always, Cool Mama Jamma, and I'll see you guys later. Stay cool, Jammas. See you.